Hey guys, how's it going? Mr. Mitchell here. In this video, we're going to go over acceleration and deceleration. So let's get started. So we'll start by looking at the definition for acceleration, and then we'll look at an equation involving acceleration, velocity, and time. So we define acceleration as the change in velocity per unit time. Remember, per unit time means each second or per second. So we're interested in how much does the velocity of an object change each second. And remember, acceleration is a vector quantity, which means we do need a direction as well as a magnitude when we're stating accelerations. And from this definition, we can write the following in symbol form. So we've got A for acceleration is equal to the change in velocity delta V divided by the time T. So that is your change in velocity per unit time. But we can further express the change in velocity delta V as final velocity minus the initial velocity. Or in symbol form, we have V for final velocity and U for initial velocity. So if we rewrite this in terms of the V minus U, then we have the acceleration equation, which is A equals V minus U divided by T where A is acceleration measured in meters per second squared, that's ms to the minus two, u is initial velocity measured in meters per second, v is final velocity measured in meters per second, t is time measured in seconds, and v minus u is the change in velocity. It's important not to get mixed up between initial and final velocity, and a way that you can remember which one is which is to think about u being before v in the alphabet. So that means u is the first velocity, the initial velocity or starting velocity, and v is going to be the second velocity, the final velocity. We then have a few things to consider down the bottom here. So it says to note that meters per second squared, the units for acceleration, is the same as saying meters per second per second. So this is just another way to think about it. And that means we can answer questions like this one here, which is what is meant by the statement an acceleration of five meters per second squared. So you could be asked something like this in an exam, and the way you would answer it is to use a phrase like this. So it means that an object's speed increases by five meters per second every second. So that's us using this idea here, the fact that meters per second squared means the same as meters per second per second to answer this definition question. So because it's a positive value of acceleration, five meters per second squared, then we can say the object speed increases by five meters per second every second. However, if the question asked what is meant by the statement an acceleration of minus five meters per second squared, for example, then you could say the object speed decreases by five meters per second every second because the negative would imply a deceleration, a slowing down of the object. I'm just going to show you a quick simulation to help you visualize this. So here we have three cars and we've got a timer for each which is going to time how long it takes each of these three cars to reach 60 miles per hour. So if we start with this one down the bottom, the Porsche, you'll see that it takes a time of 3.3 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour. Next one, the Ferrari, 3.2 seconds this time, and then we've got the McLaren, which is just three seconds it takes to reach 60 miles per hour. So what we could say is that the McLaren reaches 60 miles per hour in the shortest time, and it therefore has the greatest acceleration. And for information, it says that 60 miles per hour is about 27 meters per second, which is the unit we are familiar with when we talk about speed or velocity. So we could say the velocity of the car increases by 27 meters per second in three seconds, which is the same as nine meters per second. So in one second, we can say the velocity of the car changes or increases by nine meters per second meters per second, i.e. the car has an acceleration of nine meters per second squared. Jumping back to the notes now, there's just a few things to finish looking at. So it says if the final velocity V of an object is smaller than the initial velocity U, the value for acceleration will be negative and is in the opposite direction to the object's motion. We therefore say that a negative value for acceleration is called a deceleration. This indicates that the object's speed is decreasing, so it is slowing down. So don't worry if you're doing a calculation and you get a negative value for acceleration. This just implies that the object is slowing down, i.e. it's a deceleration whereas a positive value for acceleration means the object is speeding up. And lastly, it says to note, often you'll be given speed values rather than velocity values. Just use these in the same way, but remember to state a final direction along with your acceleration value. And that's because remember acceleration is a vector quantity, so we do want to state a direction as well as a magnitude when we're writing it down as an answer. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.